Hi, my name's Adam Duncan. I'm a chef. I've been cooking professionally for more than 20 years and I've based my whole career around serving great, fresh, tasty food for my family and for my customers. Food's a fundamental way of life. Protecting the, the integrity of our food and the reliability of our food supply is critical. We must ask what kind of world we are building for ourselves and for our children when we'd prefer to spend billions of dollars creating unnecessary and risky genetically modified products rather than following our parents' belief and advice of eating a simply balanced diet. The integrity of our food the integrity of our food is continually being depleted by the demands of a fast-paced modern lifestyle. Our relationship with food is generally an unhealthy one. Agri-food manufacturers play on people's time poverty to sell ultra-processed fast foods full of salt, sugar, highly refined carbohydrates, additives and preservatives. These foods have nothing in common with the fresh fruit and vegetables and whole cereals that should make up the bulk of our diet. In a few generations, our food and farming systems have been radically transformed. Once based around nature and human need, they are now controlled by corporations from seed to supermarket for the purpose of profit. Australia's reputation as one of the best food producers and places to eat in the world is now at risk. The crisis in our marine stocks around food miles, animal husbandry, increased monoculture in our agricultural products and of course GM foods are all major issues for chefs and consumers alike. Most of these issues can be easily navigated by reading labels, buying organic, sourcing mar marine species from sustainable fisheries and asking questions of your supplier or retailer. We eat out more than any other generation and it's your right and responsibility to ask the chef what is on your plate so that we foster a more responsible, sustainable food culture. But no matter how many questions you ask when it comes to GMs, no one has the answers to inform choices. GM foods are not subject to the same labelling requirements as even organic foods. And I think I know which foods I'd rather have subject to legislation. <laughs> GM ingredients appear as hidden ingredients in processed foods, but under Australian food labelling laws, only foods where GM proteins can be detected need to be labelled. All the types of following food are exempted. Foods where ingredients are made from animals with, fed with GM feed. So all your meat, eggs, honey. Food where GM ingredients are highly refined, such as cooking oils, sugars and starches. Most processed foods will fall into this. Food that is prepared at bakeries, restaurants and takeaways. Foods that use processing aids or food additives using GM microbes. This is all bad stuff. Now remember, chefs work really hard to ensure the best quality ingredients are used in their trade, but when you can be sold food containing GMs and not, and not know due to inadequate testing or labelling, it also makes a mockery of the stringent occupational health and safety and food safety requirements that are a part of my everyday life. Every delivery I receive, I have to record for temperature, unbroken packaging, and keep these records in paper copy on site for seven years. Every fridge I have, and I've got 12 at my workplace at the moment, I have to record the temperatures two times a day and have them on paper copy available for seven years. Every dish I cook has to have the temperature recorded from when I take it out to the fridge to when I serve it to the customer. Once again, I have to have a paper copy and hold it for seven years. But through all this audit trail, I have nothing to say to my customers that there is no GMOs in any of the food they eat. Now, it's really remember to that hospitality and agribusiness are commercial organisations. So not only vote at the polling booth, but vote with your wallet. It's really important. People understand when they start losing money. We should all have the basic right to know what we're eating. We can change industry practices by demanding for a transparent food industry that allows the consumer to choose food that's safe. I believe it's vital to lobby government to apply a more stringent testing regime to foods that may contain GM ingredients and to legislate in truth in labelling where GM foods may enter the human food chain. Cheers. Yeah.